Today, friends, we are going to use Tinkercad and some origami skills to make a sweet container. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you've never used Tinkercad before, you can simply visit Tinkercad.com. I recommend using Sign In with Google. Once you get here, we're going to hit Create and Brand New 3D Design. The first thing I like to do is name our project. I'm going to call this Origami Cup. I am going to make a container the size of a cup. Of course, you can scale this up to make any size you want. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the difference between a cylinder and a sketch cylinder. If we bring out this sketch tool, it takes us inside here, and I'm going to show you that we can simply make a diamond. Notice I'm going to the one centimeter mark in each direction, and then if you click to edit and double click, it becomes a perfect circle, smooth sides. When you click finish sketch, it looks fantastic. Now I want you to remember this because that is an amazing technique. I also want you to know that for this project, these don't work. At the very end, I will show you how we could put it to use though. All right, so real quickly, this is where we're headed. As you can see, totally built with triangles. That is the origami connection. And of course, we are going to hollow it out with the slicer, which is pretty darn slick. I'm going to quickly hide it and let me show you the steps. Let's start with a polygon. We are going to set it to eight sides and press enter. And then we're going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees so that it's straight with that line right there. We are also going to shift scale it. And I'm going to tell you the number we want to use is 70. You can choose a different size, but you just need to match the rest of this to that size. So now we can go to our cylinder. We will click on it and we'll maximize its sides at 64. Notice it's reasonably smooth, but not as smooth as the other one. And then we're going to shift stretch it to 70 as well. Notice it becomes 70 in both directions. All right, so we're doing this because it helps us with some magic math. Right now, we're going to select both of them, do L for a line, of course, center and center. And then we want to snag this piece right here for measuring. We're going to do that by bringing out a hole box. Notice it's set as a hole. Once again, we are going to shift stretch it and this time we're going to type the number 70 so it matches the rest of our project now we're going to select the blue polygon notice i'm double checking the color and then i'm going to shift select the hole choose l for a line click the polygon and make it the boss and choose the right align option and the middle once again to see these better i like to click on the view cube and bingo now you can see we're going to slice off that edge select it all and do Control g to group this process allows us to click on the shape and then grab this awesome measurement right here, 2.66. That is what makes this origami project come to life. Let's quickly do Control D, set this one aside. We'll set the original aside just so we have it for later. And we're going to ungroup and delete everything but the cylinder. Now we need to bring out a green roof. And then this is the important part. We're going to set the height to that same number. Remember, it was 2.66. Now we need to stand this up so this edge is pointing inside. So we're going to click on this and we're going to rotate. Notice it does 22 and a half degrees at a time. We, of course, want 90 degrees. So check this out. If you hold down shift, it does 45 degrees at a time. So it takes a total of two rotations. Of course, we're going to do D to drop and we're going to make it a hole. And then we need to change this measurement to match our project. Remember, we've got 70 millimeters here. So, of course, we just made this 70 as well. Select those two. Choose L for a line. Make the cylinder the boss. And, of course, choose center. And we want that right edge. Just like that. Notice it's going to cut out this neat little chunk right here. We're going to select it again and do Control D. Shift nudge to move it all the way to the other side and flip it with the mirror tool. We want to flip it this way. Of course, then we need to select those two shapes. Double check, L for a line, make the cylinder the boss, and bam, we need it right there. Now we are going to shift select the two of those and do Control D, and we're going to rotate it 45 degrees. Once again, that is two clicks, or if you hold down shift, it is a single click. Let go, do not touch anything else, and do Control D one, two more times. That is the pattern that we're going to use to cut this all out. 
All right, friends, so here comes the magic of this project. We're going to hide this part. We're going to switch down here to a five millimeter nudge. We want to grab all of this and do control down arrow one, two. So that way the peak of our roof will be right at zero, zero. So it's cutting off the edge of our container exactly where we want. We are simply moving it down 10 because its total measurement was 20. Now we're going to grab it all and we're going to use the sweet duplicator and repeat. Once again, eight shapes, control D, rotate exactly 22 and a half degrees. And then we're going to do control up arrow one, two. It was two clicks up because of the five millimeter nudge. Now that's a total of 20. So we want to do control D again for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80 millimeters. That's the extra half to cut off the top. Now grab all of those parts. Notice I missed the parts in the back. We've got a total of 64 for our seven centimeter container, and we can do control G to group. Notice it does take a moment. Now we can do show all though, and we want to grab all of this and make sure it's aligned. Once again, L for align, make the cylinder the boss. Let's look at it from a corner so we can see these better. Right there is the center button. I'll switch to the other side. And there is that center button. And then if we click front, you can see this center button was already fine. We can wrap this up by selecting them all. Notice it says two shapes because we grouped it and do control G to group. Notice it is complex, so it does take a moment. Check it out though. We have got a fantastic container that is totally built out of triangles. Now today, friends, I'm going to stop this project right here because we are going to send this to the 3D printer using vase mode so it'll hollow it out all by itself. Of course, to make that happen, step one is to hit export, choose STL. I'm going to put it in my 3D modeling folder and because I already named the project, it already has a workable name. One quick highlight of that perfect circle drawn with sketch. You can see here the tiny artifacts. If you still wanted to use that, of course, there is nothing gained. This works perfect. But if you still wanted to use that, let me show you a fix. If we double click to edit, click just on the blue one. And where it is 70 by 70, let's do Alt, Shift, and stretch it to Crazyville. And just type 69.98 and press Enter. We're making it a tiny bit thinner on the sides so that way there isn't that leftover. Of course, we still need that height to be 70. So when we click and change that later, it does not adjust. This pink means you're editing the group. So when you click outside the pink, after a moment, it regroups and those artifacts are gone. So if you really wanted to use the sketch trick, which is super cool, you just need it to be a tiny bit smaller. We got that tiny bit smaller because the orange one only had 64 sides. Once again, that sketch, circle, or cylinder is super slick. It just wasn't as handy for this project. So, of course, we are bouncing to Bamboo Lab Studio. Let's do add. And, of course, in the 3D modeling folder, we can find the origami cup. In the profiles, I'm going to choose the 0.2 standard. I'm also going to switch to my generic PLA. Right-click, change filament, and I want that white. Now the swap to vase mode is super simple. Whether you're in advanced or basic, simply switch out to others and under special mode, we want to turn on spiral vase. Notice it does only work when these settings are in place. What's awesome is it allows you to change these automatically. So I'm just going to hit yes. Still looks like a solid, right? But if we hit slice plate, you can see that our container is now hollow and super thin and our total print time is under 60 minutes. Friends, we're going to hit print plate. Of course, double check our colors. Everything looks groovy and let's send it to the 3D printer. After a moment, it bounces to device mode. As you can see, the origami cup is downloading. And once it does finish downloading, we can click play and monitor everything from afar. And less than 60 minutes later, check it out, a watertight cup. How cool is that? 
So friends, there you have it, a super slick container that's built using origami principles. Of course, with all those triangles, it is super strong, even though the walls are thin. Make sure you tune in on Friday. I'm gonna show you the simple steps to make it so it has the walls in Tinkercad so you can make it as thick as you want. Friends, I do wanna quickly say thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Love how that group is growing. Of course, you can learn more with the bit.ly up above or the link in the description. Finally, friends, I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget every time you click that like button, share a video, add a comment down below, or click subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.